Hi class, my name is Morgan Castle, and today I will be giving you a teaser to my project on smart home and IoT devices by providing some potential future IoT devices and their potential threats. This is relevant because by 2025, it is estimated that there will be more than 21 billion IoT devices. One future smart home device I will be introducing today is one by the computer graphics company NVIDIA who are currently working on smart robotic arm that can act as its owner's personal sous chef, doing everything from slicing and dicing veggies to helping with cleanup. It could be particularly useful for busy parents or disabled users. Thanks to advancements in artificial intelligence, the smartest homes will be able to truly learn about their owners or occupants, eventually anticipating their needs. Health applications will drive at least some of the smart home growth over the next decade. Cameras and sensors embedded in refrigerators will suggest more nutritious alternatives if people are reaching for the sugary sodas a little too frequently. Similar technology in medicine cabinets will check if residents have taken their prescriptions on time. And sensors will even show up in toilets to check for signs of any potential health conditions by scanning human waste before it's flush. Bathroom fixture company Toto has experimented with urine sampling toilets while one company has filed patents for devices, including a mirror that's meant for monitoring users' health just by analyzing their skin. Homes will have health sensors for their own, too, that check for issues like water damage, pest infestation, and so on, alerting owners to potential problems before they've become far costlier to manage. Of course, as our homes learn more about us, keeping them secure will become all the more important. Every device that's connected to the internet is a potential target for hackers. So here are some reasons why it threatens our safety. First, cyber criminals will continue to use IoT devices to facilitate DDoS attacks. For example, in 2016, the world was introduced to the first Internet of Things malware, a strand of malicious software that can infect connected devices such as DVRs, security cameras, and more. The Mirai malware access to devices using default password and usernames. What happened next? The malware turned the affected devices into a botnet to facilitate a distributed denial of service attack, which aims to overwhelm websites with internet traffic. The attack ended up flooring one of the largest website hosting companies in the world, bringing a variety of major well-known websites and services to a halt for hours. Another reason why it threatens our safety is that 5G networks will continue to fuel IoT growth, which means it will open the door to new privacy and security concerns because more 5G IoT devices will connect directly to the 5G network than via a Wi-Fi router. This trend will make those devices more vulnerable to direct attack, according to a recent somatic blog post. For home users, it will become more difficult to monitor all IoT devices because they will bypass a central router. On a broader scale, the increased reliance on cloud-based storage will give attackers new targets to attempt to breach. So how exactly will we protect against this? So for my presentation in the next week, I will be discussing some more future IoT devices as well as ways to secure your home and privacy in the future with these new smart devices. I will also be walking through a scenario in the future to find the source of a malfunctioning smart device in a home with numerous other smart IoT devices to describe what happened. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to talking to you guys about this next week.